Ryan was 18 when he first started dating Lita, and she was 32 with six kids. Whoa. They have now been together for six years and have two children of their own. But Ryan says Lita constantly accuses him of cheating. So much so that he admitted to cheating on her with women and men. <laughs> but according to him, this confession was a lie. Take a look. Ryan and I have been together for about six years. And five years ago, I caught him texting another girl. I was going to end the relationship then, but I didn't because I believed that he loved me and I love him. I decided to go ahead and stay with him, give him another chance. But we've had trust issues since then, about a year ago. He started getting really distant. He didn't talk to me. All the signs were there that he was cheating, so I confronted him and asked him, and he basically confessed it. In fact, he confessed to cheating on me a lot of times with different people. But then a day or two later, he took it back and said that it was all made up, that he was lying. Not only did he confess to cheating with women, but he's also confessed to cheating with men. And of course, he took that back as well. He has expressed to me before that he's vicarious. It makes me feel confused. Um, I just want to know the truth. Um, so Ryan does not want to come out on stage right now, so I'm going to go back and talk to him, and hopefully he will come on stage at some point. How you doing, Ryan? Pretty good. How are you, Steve? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, it's an unusual story, right? Yeah. Uh, you were 18 years old, and you met Lita, and you decided to be with her. Yeah. At 18 years old, meeting a woman, and I understand maybe the attraction to an older woman, but you then move in with her, and by doing that, you take on the responsibilities of her and her six kids. Yes. Did that overwhelm you at all? No, it didn't. I, I, I really enjoy it. Um, it's, it's just been an amazing part of my life. Yeah. And how old was her oldest kid when you first started dating each other? About 16. 16? Yeah. And you were 18? Mm hmm You didn't feel funny that you're like almost the same age and <laughs> you're dating his mom? Not really, no. Okay. Um, have you been cheating on her? I have not. You have not? No. The whole time that you've been together? The whole time we've been together, I've not cheated on her once. She mentioned the fact that she believes that it, you're bi-curious. Mm hmm Are you? I'm not. You're not? No. Why did you tell her that? And you told her that you cheated with men. Yeah. Um, I mean, which is kind of about odd. That, the thing about that is um, she, she wouldn't let up, you know, when I told her, no, I, you know, I haven't been with a man. No, I haven't cheated on you with any other woman. She wouldn't let up. She would keep asking me and, and, and keep making assumptions. and. So you said, finally, so I, I did sleep with men and yeah, women. Yeah, finally, you know, I just felt and like... And then she let it go after you met it? For a little bit, yeah, <laughs> and then it'd come back up again. Right. Um, would you be willing to come on stage and talk a little bit, and then we'll bring Lee up? Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's go. Other than the accusations of cheating, has it been a good relationship? It's an amazing relationship. It's amazing. And how long has the accusations of cheating been going on? Off and on for five years. For f so almost yeah. the entire relationship? Basically, yeah. Well, that well doesn't sound like a heavenly relationship if the accusations have been going on that long. I've not been able to prove to her that I haven't been. All right, well, let's meet her. Today. Here's your girlfriend, Lita. Hi. Sweetheart, I love you so much, but this yeah, has got to stop. I, love you too. I you have me confused, you have me upset, my attention is distracted. I'm just as confused distracted. and upset too, but you got to quit accusing me of cheating on you. I, it's not like I don't have a reason to accuse you. You've registered with dating sites. I caught you texting and, and messaging. Did you feel uncomfortable at all that when you first met him, he was 18 years old and you were uh, 34 at the time? I did. I did. Um, you know, he's only a couple of years older than my oldest son. And um, he, I, I, I didn't want to take advantage of him. I didn't, you know, I've lived a, a life, right. you know, and I didn't want I to mean, feel like, six like I was keeping him or, or maybe he was missing out on something. Yeah. Who asked who out on a date first? 
Uh, how did that work? I, <laughs> there was a lot of flirting. Um, he went out of his way to do things for me and offered, you know, to help me with things. Um, he was just a complete gentleman. Uh, he'd carry things for me. But now you're both here because uh, you took a lie detector test, whether you're cheating. He took a lie detector test. Did you pressure him into confessing? I don't think so. I mean, there were signs there. He, uh, he was distant. He wasn't talking to me. He was being cold and kind of uh, just preoccupied and wouldn't talk to me. So I confronted him. Yes, I asked him. And the first time he said no. And I said, you know, it, it doesn't seem right. Seems like something's up. There's too much going on that, that looks like it. And he said, OK, yeah, I did. And he went into detail about what happened, well, you, apparently. Well, tell me. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, he's told me that he cheated with a coworker, confessed to cheating with other men as well. OK. So. Now, he told you, I slept with men. Did he say that? He, yeah, he said. OK. To me, that's very unusual, because if you're, if you're caught cheating and you're not gay, why would you ever say that, you know? Right. Has he told you before that he's bi-curious? Uh, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this, this is a relationship that you want to stay in. You know, I, I love him so much, and we have been through so much together. Um, we have a big, beautiful family together. I'm exhausted. And, you have uh, eight, it's, eight kids. I have eight kids. Yeah. And it's uh, time-consuming trying to babysit him rather than spend time with my kids. Do you kids. feel that you have to babysit him? Sometimes I do. I feel like sometimes the, he's purposely is, trying to upset me to get my attention or something. Is it purposely or is it just him being 24 years old? No. I'm, I'm sorry, but no matter what age, I think everybody knows the difference from right and wrong. Uh, you know? And you know what? I, I see. I disagree with you because when I was younger, I was a bonehead, and even though I was a bonehead, I, I certainly had uh, a lot of responsibility because I was in the Marine Corps at the time, but I still did stupid things, and I had to mature, and he, he's still only 24 years old. And I have overlooked so much. And the much. age gap between the two of you, first of all, women are way ahead in light years as far as maturity goes to begin with, even if you were the same age. You're 14 years older than this guy. Have you ever cheated on him? Um, yeah, after he told me that he cheated on me, I did. The, when he told me that he wanted to work things out and he loved me, I said, well, then let's do it. Let's work things out. And he said, you know, I just need one more night. And said, one more night to do what? What, what does that mean? Not and he said, if, you, what I meant, what I meant if you love me, you'll be understanding and, and give me another night. He was I, staying at a girl's house. Lita, you're up first. You took a lie detector test. And we asked you, other than the two males we discussed, while in a relationship with Ryan, have you had sexual physical contact with any other males? You answer no. Besides that one male while in a relationship with Ryan, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males? You answer no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Lita told the truth. So I didn't get to the one part, you, I guess you kissed another guy, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I was pretty emotional. I called to talk to him. Yeah. That's good oh, news well, for you, right? It's amazing news. It's amazing I'm news. very happy. You're very happy. Yes. <laughs> How happy are you? <laughs> so Ryan here, though, today took a lie, lie detector test, and we asked him, have you ever had any sexual physical activity with a male? He answered no. He told the truth. I told you. While in a relationship with Lita, have you had sexual physical contact with any other female? He answered no. While in a relationship with Lita, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any other females? He answered no. Those results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Ryan did not tell the truth. So 
so, okay, which time was it? <laughs> you know? I mean, there were so many times, which... There really hasn't been. There really... I'm serious. Okay, I... hold on. See, this is what I hate. <laughs> you loved answer number one, right? Didn't have sex with any other men. Now the next two? Oh, that can't be true. Do you know she's gonna be thinking about it every time, all the time, until you tell her the truth? Mm -hmm. And the only way you're gonna save this relationship, and correct me if I'm wrong, is if you are truthful. Right. So, start spilling the beans, man. She wants to know. Remember that girl I was telling you about that I was always looking at? That was her. She was somebody I didn't know and that I wouldn't keep contact with afterwards. How did you have time to do that? When, where? It was on a lunch break. <laughs> and it was, it was, it was just sex. And it was because I was emotional. I was upset. Where? It was just down the street from work. Not too far so we can get back to work immediately. So we weren't late. <laughs> oh my God. What, in her car or something? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Now, is this a real confession? Yes, Steve, it is. OK. I want you to do me a favor, look in the camera and say, the lie detector tests were correct. I failed a lie detector test, and I said it wasn't true. But the lie detector test did work. Now, knowing that you did this and you hurt her feelings, can you be faithful to her? I, I sure can. Well, don't if tell me. If she would have me, if she would have me and, and, and let me make it up to her, I'd really, honestly, be grateful to have another chance. I don't know. I've given you chances, so many chances, and I'm just exhausted. I don't believe anything that you say anymore. It's just... I understand that. How can I trust you again? I don't know. Um, well, I thank you for coming on. And, well, thank you for having us, Steve. Uh, you know, to be in such a relationship, and you know, you, you, you basically screwed it up for a 20 minute fling. I don't know how long in that car. Um, <laughs> but you can leave the stage right now. You can go over there. Thanks, Steve. Um, people love each other for many different reasons, and it's hard to sometimes understand what, why that attraction's there. And I, I'm having a hard time seeing the attraction between you and him. He doesn't seem like he's mature enough to be in this type of relationship. So, and now you found out today that he did, in fact, cheat on you. And it, it doesn't, I don't believe it was one time either. I mean, that's just, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. So we do the thing on the show, pick a door. And sometimes, when the woman picks the door, oh, I'm leaving him, I'm not gonna be with them, before the show's over, she's circling around back there, <laughs> and she's right back to him. In this case, I think you're wiser, you're more mature. Raising eight children's gotta be difficult. So whatever decision you make, I'm really gonna believe it, whether it's this door or that door. If you go out that door, you're gonna be with Ryan. If you go out that door, you're gonna say, you know what, I deserve better and I need somebody more mature. And that's how you close the show. You don't have to say anything. You pick a door. Can I say one thing? Sure. Uh, we do have kids together, so honestly, I want the most caring and compassionate relationship between us for our kids, no matter what. But, I, yeah, I'm done. So then you thank you. Out that door.